John Sandel left us a message on Facebook, and he said, I'd love to hear Mr. Truby on the differences between structuring episodes for network slash cable versus webisodes. Is the latter webisodes often much shorter, merely a smaller version of the former, or are there any inherent formal differences? That's a really good question because it gets to the heart of how these two different story mediums work. One of the biggest mistakes that writers make is they think if they're writing uh, webisodes, which, which are essentially stories on the internet, that it's simply, you simply take a, say, a TV episode and cut it into parts. So if a, a TV episode is 44 minutes and, you know, your, your standard webisode is five minutes long, you just cut that into eight plus pieces and you've got your, you've got eight episodes of your webisode. This is a very bad idea because what that means is the, the writer doesn't understand these are two fundamentally different kinds of story mediums. And that means different use of character, different use of plot, different use of dialogue, different use of genre. Now, we literally saw this happen a few years ago, which is when the creators of 30-something did a show called Quarter Life. And it was, you know, their background was television. They're, they're you know, historically major figures in television. And then they were writing these webisodes. Well, the problem is they still had the TV mind. And so they constructed these webisodes as parts of, simply parts of one episode of television. And that meant that they were doing television on the web. Well, the web is a different story medium. You can't just cut up TV and make those the webisodes because then you're not taking advantage of the unique medium that the internet gives you. So that's why it's very important when you're thinking about writing webisodes. And by the way, I strongly recommend that people move into this area because you can create work that will be seen, right? and show your talent, and it's a new way of having a calling card and breaking in. But you have to write these things so that you are taking advantage of the internet medium, not the television medium. And so that means fewer characters, right? You're gonna have a much less complicated story weave than you will in television. It's still a serial, Right, so we'll be cross-cutting between different desire lines, but far fewer of them. Right, it also means that your the the story world is much more constricted. Television story world is now immense. It's one of the major developments in television over the last ten years, the complexity and scope of the story world. Well, with webisodes, it's much smaller, and so in the original creation of the show, you've got to be able to essentially create story with very few characters in a very small space, literally a very small space. That's hard to do. And this is why it dictates another particular choice. This is why the vast majority of webisodes are comedies. Because if you have talent creating comedy, it's one that you can do with very few characters in a small physical space with very few storylines. And you can do it fairly cheaply. So, th 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 again, the trick is study the medium, figure out what are the strengths of that medium, and then write a story, a unique story, that plays up those strengths.